Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on the three uh, Jungle Villain sets from 2011, of course. So let's take a look at one of the boxes, which, as you see, has the picture of the set that there is, and has the lime green border around, and with some, like, scratches around, of course. You see a picture of the set in action, the two logos, of course. And down below, to have the name of the set, and also the age range, set number, amount of pieces. Let's turn to the sides, and of course, have which doctor's face there. And from the back, you see a picture of it finding one of the hero sets, and also a little comic strip that leads up to this and the interesting thing is since this one is of stormer upgrading to 3.0 but on this one of which is just a Verno 1.0 for whatever reason and then that's about it with these boxes and now to the manual which seems or sort of the same picture as on the front of the box and everything, but unlike with the previous waves where it kind of went like this and went that way, instead it's like this, like the hero sets kind of did, but yeah. And also the little thing that shows build it on a table and not on a carpet. Put to the back, see win on how to win on the online survey. And then Lego Club ad Add for Hero Recon team, of course. Large ad of HeroFactory.com. Creep Crushers. And ad of and one of them fighting one of the heroes. Ad for the uh, Rise of Rookies DVD. And then the pieces that come with the set and the last building steps. <clears throat> and first off is probably my one of my probably my second or my favorite of the of these villains waspex which a quite cool unique build that it is or she is since in the nick episode found out was female of course like as you see I have the three jointed legs of which and those come with a lot of the like size 4 armor pieces in yellow like we had with Evo 2.0 did and also comes with the hero or the Shadow Matoran feet of course and from the back of which sort of the see, same torso as all the sets all did but it's but also let me get this off as you see is this special technique piece where it has three ball joints on it and two pins all together on it to give it her extra arms. And of course, also quite nice how it carried on with other sets, of course. Also nice to have if you want to have a character with extra limbs and all. And you see it has four different arms, well, lower ones of which do have those armor pieces, but all four of which do have the, like, uh, hand pieces from the Ben 10 sets, but in black. Oh, it's also nice to be reused, of course, and also good to have outside the Ben 10 sets, of course. And also the, the upper arms of which do you have these uh, the new uh, single blade pieces, which most some of the hero sets also had, but also Nice printing on the armor here, of course. There's wood. I'll also get three of it in this set. But also, on the back of which is, of course, a whole nother one of those. But And also, the like, large armor piece acting as an abdomen, obviously. And also, just like what Drilled Officer had was the size 8 armor pieces, of course. But in translucent yellow, of which great for mocking. 
if you want to create a character with some energy boost or something, well, this is right for that. And also, what all the villains in this wave had was were these little spike pieces that are black and red. Well, unlike some of which come in silver, of course. And of course, storyline-wise, it is what the witch doctor used to control them with. But in the Nick episode, the heroes kind of broke them off of it and made them peaceful again. It has, but also for the chest plate of which, which is actually the traditional kind, but in bright yellow, which very nice, of course. And also do get this special add-on piece, which does have three spikes around it, of course. But as for the neck, which which is a double jointed neck, and also what each villain set has is that the headpiece goes on to a traditional armor piece, of course, but Waspix in particular, which kind of good, nicely molding, so kind of odd with the molded in eyes, which I think should have been also had printed, could have been printed, but whatever. You can see those two things on it, but also uh, Scorpio does have the same exact headpiece, which you'll see next, next throwback Thursday, of course. But besides that, as build the witch, done quite interesting. So at least, it's also quite different than all. Just like with 2.0 villains also had, but yeah. <coughs> and next to which is Fangs. Uh, also a kind of cool build of which. See three jointed like of which also like waspix and also with shadow torn feet of course and also the ar size 5 armor pieces but in black of which first time outside of hero recon team of course and as for the front legs of which a couple of traditional armor pieces but in silver and those add-ons again and also for the front paws are of course the spiky paraka feet, the same as Vizons and Maxlos and all. And of course the longer limb pieces used for that, obviously. But as for the front part of which, which as you see does have this dog-like headpiece for that, since it's what he's kind of like. And also do have the like bendy spear pieces that the heroes in the 2.0 wave also had. Not sure what for, but whatever. And as for the whole back section, which is all on one single limb piece, of course, which, as you can see, there does have three of these size three armor pieces in trans orange or translucent orange, and also have the closet spikes on, of course, and. Also, do you get the, some nice silver printing on it? Kind of cool. And also, the tail that is comprised of a Glatorian neck and leading to a, a one of the new sp uh, a spear pieces, of course. And also, a single limb joint with a silver armor bit on it. So, and why a single one? I don't know. I think it should have had like around one more for that make the tail extra longer, but of course. And also, just like what Jetbug had was the like translucent uh, orange size 5 armor piece as well, of course. Well, besides that, color scheme similar to that of Drill Dozer, but I guess he's probably like Drill Dozer and all for this wave, of course. And also, the narrower chest plate, or I mean torso piece, when I think also could have been the longer kind. And but that's but that's just me. But yeah. Last but not least is of course a uh, raw jaw, which is sort of a short stumpy character, which the legs of which only one also reusing the like. Uh, on foot pieces from the Ben 10 wave, of course. Well, same with XT4 in Breakout, also did. 
but at least nice to have here, of course. And although I do think that the length, the lower legs could have been the longer ones, but whatever. And although the tail of which does have those kind of limb pieces, and also another one of those odd pieces for the tip of which, of course. And also one of the only ways for him to have this armor piece on it is with an extra limb piece. It's, but at least until they came up with that different kind of one in Breakout with Speed of Demon, of course. So at least he was a kind of a try at it. And unlike the other sets of which has a single quasi spike when the other two that we looked at had around two or three. And as for the arms of which, do have the lower joint twice and also those like add-on pieces but in red of course and also plenty of good red pieces to him like we often see with Verno and whatnot. And also those the two of the new add-on pieces in red, again, of course. And the Exoforce hand, arms in silver, of course. And as for the chest of win, or the chest armoring, of course, just three armor pieces done so. Kind of similar to that Fire Lords, of course. Although, well, this is just me, but I think Drill Dozer's uh, slide over armor piece also could have worked out, but yeah. But as for the head of which, which just like the other villain sets, does have some printing on this armor piece and also a new kind of headpiece which has large fangs to it, sort of like what Next 3.0 in this wave also had, of course. And for the lower jaw, which does open and close, of course, and of course comprised of a Hordika neck and also Ferno 3.0's uh, wing pieces, but also uses blades, of course. <laughs> and that is it with Raja. And now on to with the final verdict. These, I think, are kind of cool sets for the time, like, get plenty of interesting new pieces and a couple of good recolors. Well, in the case of Waspix and Fangs, of which good recolors, Raja kind of does too, but also, also kind of smallish, small, compared to the fire villains in the last wave kind of did. But at least they kind of improved, but at least in the next wave breakout, did have smallish villain sets, of course. So I guess they were kind of leading to that. And, but also, some quite unique builds, like the Breakout, or I mean, uh, Fire Villains kind of did, but yeah. And of course. And once again, few good recolors to them, of course. And also, one of the only times I've ever seen so a couple of pieces from the Ben 10 wave, of course. Although it may have been just one color, but yeah. Although, Duke still quite like how they came out to course, and yeah. And if you're looking to get these sets for your collection, or definitely get them eBay Bricklink, whatever. And if for those of you still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them, and yeah. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.